Hello guys, John here. Welcome back inside my toy room. You know, we got a uh, Plukoon here today. Plukoon, 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 doom, 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 doom. All right, Plukoon, he's a Jedi. He's from Hasbro, ages four and up, the Black Series. Number 109, Plukoon. Here's that barcode for those of you guys who like that. This is Blue Coon on the side. Number 109, Plo Coon. Cool image of him on there. Plo Coon. We'll get all five languages here so you can read them. A Keldor from Doran, Plo Coon was among the wisest members of the Jedi Order respected for his level-headed analysis of events and unflappable calm. He was unflappable. Okay? <laughs> Plo Koon. I, uh, I kind of wonder where my Kit Fisto is because I ordered these two on the exact same day at the exact same time and he showed up, but Kit Fisto didn't. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's going on? Oh, what? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Let's take a detailed look at Plo Koon. Wow, he looks pretty cool. I really like the detail in his face. This mask looks really cool. These things are awesome. His alien head just looks so cool. It's really well sculpted, really, really well done here. This is awesome. He's got a really good body sculpt, the way that the clothing is. This is pretty cool, the belt. These pieces can move out to give him room to move around and that's really cool. His boots look great. So he's got the double jointed knees, the double jointed, let's see, does he have double jointed elbows? No, a single joint on the elbows. Arms go up and down and all around. Got the hand twist. Got the, do we have a thigh? We have a thigh twist, right? Yeah, we got a thigh twist. Um, no twist at the ankles though, do we? Feet rotation there, and the head bob, and we've got a uh, rotation there. But what's with this giant hood? I mean, the rest of the cloak looks fine, but why do we have this giant hood? This hood makes no sense. Like, <laughs> I'm hiding. You guys can't see me. I'm hiding from the rest of the Jedi so they don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm gonna fly around and hide. I don't know what this is. This giant hood is for. This doesn't make any sense. I don't. What is that? I mean, I'm not gonna put the hood up. I'm gonna leave him this way, I guess, because that hood is ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? It's way too much cloth. Anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So there's a little stitch here holding it together. That should have been a snap so we could take it apart if we wanted to. Hmm. Because that's pretty cool. I like how this is like a separate little piece. I like that part, you know? Hmm. 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 Let's pose them and put them on the turntable. We'll take some good looks at them. 
in that way. We'll see what we can do with this guy. All right. There we go. That's not bad. You know what I mean? Like I would purposely make the slit in the side there and have his robes hanging down. Same with this side. You've got, you're purposely making this slit and having the, the back robe sort of fold under back there. And it just gives it a more dynamic look, I guess. And his clawed hand out. He's got the lightsaber in that hand. Hmm, that's pretty cool, if you ask me. Get him going up on the turntable here. It's just the giant hood that I have a problem with, you know? Otherwise, this is a really, really cool figure. This is really nice. But that extra cloth in the hood, it's, it's unnecessary, you know? Wonder, I just wonder if there's something we can do about that. Hmm. Aside from cutting it all up, you know what I mean? Huh. Hmm. He looks pretty cool though, doesn't he? So here we go. One thing you can do is I've tucked the hood in the back under his cloak. So it's underneath the cloak. And then I took one of these sleeves and I wrapped it around like a scarf in a sense and left the slit on this side. And I, it does sort of bunch in the back here a little bit, the cloak, but it lets it be more open so you can sort of see the detail in the character more. And, uh, I don't know, see what you think about that. It's an option for having him able to look more, you know, film, film-like, I guess you could say. <laughs> He's got a lot of robe. He's got a lot of cloth robe that, um, it's just in excess, I think, you know? So you've really got to play around to get it just right you know but otherwise i mean that robe was the only thing i could say negative about him otherwise this is a really nice looking figure he's pretty cool actually um yeah he's just got an excess of robe like remember those um what was it i think it was like anakin and obi-wan and a couple other guys like mace and those guys when they were in the 3.75 inch scale and they came with those gigantic robes. Do you remember that? <laughs> this is kind of the equivalent of that. It's the Black Series equivalent of getting those absurd, massive amount of robes that we got like in those 3.75 inch ones. But yeah, anyways, you know, I'm, I'm okay with them. I'm pretty happy with them. Once I messed around and got the robes situated in a, in a spot like this where... I think he looks good, and he will look good on the shelf put up like that. Um, I think I'm going to be happy with him. So there you go, guys. Plo Koon. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm John, and, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back to watching the Transformers on Netflix, because it's finally here. Woohoo! <laughs> May the Force be with you guys, always.